Hello and welcome to my channel. I am John Murua, an amateur alpinist, and today I will show you how I manage the pretty delicate situation in the mountains. A broken rope while abseiling in the night already. This can happen to anybody, and having the technical skills as well as the cold blood, it's important to be able to find the solution without having to take unnecessary risks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when videos of mountaineering or climbing like this one gets published. This happened in the 2020 winter when I was climbing the Super Couloir, a beautiful mixed route in Mont Blanc du Tacul. You can check the video of this route in my playlist. After getting to the top, Halfway through the rappels, I realized that the rope was damaged. As you can imagine, this was a tricky situation. Not only because I was hanging at the edge of a broken rope, but also because we had still 300 more meters to upsail. There were other factors making this situation even more dangerous, like the cold, the darkness, or the wind that was making it impossible to communicate with my partner. Furthermore, we were at high altitude, about 4,000 meters, and we were tired after a long day climbing. The reason why the rope was damaged like that is unknown, but it was probably because we stepped in with the crampons. The rope was new, but the investigation report says that it was cut with something very sharp like a knife. But anyway, what to do in this situation? One important thing to notice is that I had the Prusik on. Thanks to it, I could release both of my hands off the rappel line, hang on the Prusik and deal with the situation. Takeaway: Always put the Prusik. The first thing that crossed my mind was to make a knot around the damaged area. There are multiple possible knots that we can do in this situation. Just any knot that won't run leaving enough slack. Overhand, figure eight, alpine butterfly. Then I would need to find a way to pass the belay plate to the other side of the knot. A common approach is to use a double project system. This is the same concept using crevasse rescue to pass the knot on a rope. Passing the belay plate to the other side of the knot is a lot of work especially with gloves and in that windy environment. I have done it in a safe environment and I would prefer not to have to do it up there. This approach that seems obvious would only work 50% of the times. Yes, that's right, half of the times. It depends on which is the rope to pull. Let's see what I mean. If I did the knot and continue the rappel, when I try to pull the ropes from the bottom, the knot wouldn't pass through the top anchor. It gets blocked. In fact, both ropes get blocked, but we needed to pull the ropes to continue the rappels. It could happen that the rope to pull was the damaged rope. In that case, this approach would work. Although, with all the stress of the situation, I couldn't remember which was the rope to pull, and I wouldn't be willing to take the chances. Takeaway, always mark the rope to pull, like for example, clipping a carabiner to it. In case of doubt, the safest would be to prusik up the ropes to the top anchor. Once there, make a knot around the damaged area, like explained earlier. This is not easy either, to prusik up double ropes with gloves in a wet environment is pretty hard. T-blocks, micro tractions and these kind of tools don't work with double ropes, as they are too thin. They seem to work, but they are not certified and they could lead to a fatal accident. Takeaway: Carry with you, in your harness, the gear you might need to do a self-rescue system. When we reach an anchor 
and we managed to pull both ropes. For the subsequent rappels, we can use the good rope as the rappel line and the damaged rope as a pull cord. To make sure the knot doesn't pass through the anchor, we block it using a carabiner like this. This would have been the safest option, but I took a different approach. I observed the rope and I realized that the shed was completely damaged, but the core was intact. The core offers 80% of the strength of the rope and the chef only the 20% extra. I thought that for the remaining rappels to do, the rope was strong enough. I continued the rappel until I got to the next anchor where I met my partner. I discussed the situation with him, we observed the rope carefully and we decided to keep going like that. To help strengthen the damaged area, it is advisable to cover it with some duct tape. Takeaway: Bring always some duct tape with you. This can happen to anyone. It is advisable to practice regularly these technical skills like crevasse rescue, prussic cap a rope or to pass a knot through a belay plate in case you are caught in a delicate situation like this one and you can find a way out safely and smoothly. Have fun in the mountains and be safe!